Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britain. And today, as the title shows, I decided to do a little vamp being up with my TBR cart. I decided to finally utilize it. I took... The original plan was to take about 20 to 30 books and throw them on here. Well, apparently I have like 60 books on here. Well, these are the books that I would like to focus on for the rest of the year. I am going to give myself one more month with it to fully solidify that these are those books. So at the end of September, everything that's on here, if I read them, by the end of this year, awesome. If I don't, awesome. The whole point of this is to see um, are the books that are coming into this house the ones that I want to prioritize? Am I prioritizing gifts? Am I prioritizing uh, 2023 pre-orders? Am I prioritizing series? Stuff like that. I will tell you the only ones that are not going to be on this cart is Death Note. I do have one volume on there right now, but that's uh, this month's TBR. Those. Um, and each month when I do my friend chooses my TBR, I will grab those three off the shelves if they're not already on the cart. And kind of prioritize them. My goal is just to see if I can prioritize my reading. Because I have a habit of, oh my god, this project sounds amazing. Let's immediately start that and not finish 15 other projects. So, I have some series on here that I'm going to prioritize. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to prioritize. Um, I do have startings of series. I do have continuation to series on here, but we're not going to get into all of that. I love how I said that. Like, it's a big, important thing. But, um, also I've decided if I get to Bromance, um, book club this month, I will then carry on with the reread. If I don't, I'm sorry, girls, if I don't get to it, I'm gonna DNF the rereads because of other things. Just, just so y'all are aware. Um, yes, I've got my buddy reads on here that I know of. Um, if I have any others. Comment down below if I don't mention a book or something that you know I agreed to buddy read with you guys. Or for book clubs or stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping I have something on here that works for every buzzword. Um, September is game-related words. Oh. I don't know if I have a game-related word. We'll find that out. Um, October is magic and other words that mean magic. I have spell. I have souls. I have words that would work. Or magic ingredients. November is the word good. Ugh. 
I don't have the word good. <laughs> um, we may have to add a book that's not on here. Or hopefully one of my pre-orders that are coming in has the word good. Fudge sickle. And sound related words. Oh, I have the word magic and two spots. Um, sound related words. I'm sure I have one. Um, I didn't think of those. Who knows? But let's go over what is going to be considered my TBR for like the rest of the year. Um, minus... Death notes, and like I said, if I have a month where I have a friend choose my TBR, um, after this month I have September and November. September is Dana, and November will be Kehlani. Um, but yeah, let me bring in my yellow cards. So here on the top, where this bookmark is, is this is what's technically left of my TBR for this month, which I still have, I was born for this, the fire, year of the quark, and if I get to it, bromance. I am currently reading some books, and I have at least one more Death Note to get to this month, so those are like what I'm going to prioritize, and then once I finish that, these next ones. I also have the September um, Ba book pick, but that's in a different stack with a couple of books. I will explain. I'm going to do a TBR for Slutty Studies which I will see at the beginning of that vlog. Whatever I don't finish of Slutty Studies is going on this cart somewhere, just so you know. But okay, so next we have, all of these are books that I would like to read in the month of September. Like these are like the major picks. Um, I have a couple of buddy reads, like I will be buddy reading The Mary Shelley Club with Nikki. Um, I have Love and Monsters, which is the Bob pick for September. Um, I will be continuing on The City of Brass, Kingdom of Copper. Um, Wayward Son was on this month's TBR. I may try to still squeeze it in. Who knows? Um, if I have a chance, I will be picking up The Cruel and Faded Light. Oh, cannot wait. Um, once I finish Fire, I can continue on with Night, and then I'll just have the short stories left for that series. Um, and the two major, um, the two major, uh, pre-orders that I would like to get to, hopefully, will be Bring Me Your Midnight and One of Us Is La, or One of Us Is Back, because I would like to finish this series. So that's why those are up at top. Also up top, I went ahead and just threw on the, the next one, which is Storm Cursed. I do have Smoke Benton at the bottom shelf because it's a hardback, but because it's a mass market, I threw it up here if I get to it this month. Cool, if I don't, cool.
cool. And back here, I also have Fire of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coldhurst and Crier's War by Nina v Varela. Only because these are not mine. These are my friend Chelsea's and O'Shaughnessy's. These are two queer fantasies that they would like me to give a try to. I am hoping to at least do a Fire and Stars in December. I don't know when I'll be able to pick up Crier's War. I'm throwing them on here so that they don't get lost with our books. Well, they're like on here if I get to them, cool. If I don't, cool. So now this next shelf. I'm wondering if I can just bring you down a notch. I wonder. I can bring you down. Maybe you'll see these other two shelves. But, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so on this next shelf, I have, um, starting out are my buddy reads into series finishers into two arcs that I have. So for buddy reads, um, I won't say why we're buddy reading this in October, but Practical Magic, there will be an announcement coming for that soon. Um, in October, I will be buddy reading when Nikki, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. Um, I know the girls are supposed to be buddy reading this fall. Belladonna, I'm choosing to read it in November, in October, because Belladonna. Um, I have of Sunlight and Stardust. Um, I need to get the other two for the ball picks. I don't own them. I have not made the announcement. Next month you'll get the announcement to know what month this one is. And then I know in November I am buddy reading... With Nikki, we are going to buddy read Vespertine to get them off of our shelves. I This one may or may not stay, but I might be buddy reading in November with Karina the Wolf Den. And for Amanda's book club, her November pick is Southwind, and it sounded really interesting. So I'm hoping to at least give that a try. So those are like buddy reads. Um, for series finishers, if after I read Wayward Son, I need to read And the Way the Wind Blows, and then I'm completely done with Simon and Bass. I'm embarrassed. I still have not read Damning Stone. After Night... This is only on here because there's two more short stories in the back, which I have not read, which is The Castle and The Light, and I'll be able to finally finish the O'Leary, the Love and O'Leary series. Um, if I get done with Kingdom of Copper, I have Empire of Gold, which just came today, and it is a fucking beast. Um, I do have Rivers of Silver or something pre-ordered because the paperback is coming out. So I have the paperback edition pre-ordered because all of mine are paperbacks. Ow, it hurts. And then the two arcs that I have here. I had one, an arc of the spells we cast by Jason June, which this comes out in October. So I'm hoping to get this read either in September or the beginning of October, so I can announce that. And I'm hoping to get this one read soon, which is Find Him Where You Left Him Dead by Kristen Simmons, which I do believe is a YA horror that is coming out in September. I had gotten this for a project, for a certain thing, I cannot talk about, but I am no longer part of said thing. 
and no longer doing said thing. So I want to at least honor the author by reading and giving you a review of the book. So those are what's in the front. Let me put these all back on. And then we'll go to what's behind. So on the second shelf, because one of my favorite genres of books these days have been Melmo romances. I wanted to prioritize the Melmo romances that are on my shelves to give me a taste for like future um for future book club picks. Um, and these are some of the ones that just have happened to make it to here. Um, Cold by Skylar Snow, which is a Mel Mel Mafia romance, which I would like to try. Everyone tells me as a Mel Mel romance reader, and hopefully one day author, that I need to check out one of the most popular book series out there and I also got this as a gift from a friend on TikTok but this is like one of the best Mel Mel romances like fantasy series and that is Captive Prince by C.S. Picot so I'm willing to give that a try I am sad that I still have not read this but I'm also still dying over my red, white, and royal blue obsession is playing The Palace by Paul Rudnick. I'm hoping to get to this later this year. Um, Blindsided by Becca Steele. This is a sports romance. And I want to say it's set in high school, so I did not know that. So now I'm kind of... I do believe this is a football, so soccer. Um, I had started this and had put it down, so I'm hoping to get to it. Is Right as Rain by Lucy Lennox, which this is a small town romance. And I recently purchased this signed autograph edition of Moments in Time. This is books one through three by Karen Stavali. I got it for $5 off of Pengo. So they're just like cute little novellas. I want to see if Karen Stav Stavali is a good enough author. And to get this in a bind up, it's really rare. So to find it autographed to a Manawana. Don't ask. Um, to find that signed, I thought that was really cool. Um, now let's spin to the other side. These are the other books that I would like to see that are Mel Mel. Um, I want to read more Riley Hart, so I would like to try out the Verse podcast series which book one is The Loner, and I love a good podcast story, so I don't know if this has, like, podcast element in it or they're just on a podcast. Um, I recently got this off of Pango Books, and I was told that I would really, really love it, and that is Best Men by Sydney Carger. I have seen this everywhere, it is two groomsmen falling in love. The bride's groomsman and the boy meets girl's fiance's brother. So the, the groom and the bride's best men falling in love. Love a good wedding setting. Um, because Gravity, I love it so much. I want to get to the rest of the story by Tal Bauer. They're both standalones, but they're set in the same universe. And I couldn't not put a hockey romance somewhere on this shelf. Um, I recently got this for super cheap. 
and that is Fake Dates and Mooncakes by Sher Lee, which I think is a YA um, bakery romance with Chinese, Chinese takeout, Chinese bakery, something like that. And it just looks so adorable. And because I've been dying to see if this is a series for me, I would like to read The Hitman's Guide to Making Friends and Finding Love by Alice Winters. It's book one in the Hitman's Guide series. I have so many Alice Winters series saved, so I want to know if Alice is for me. Listen. I need to know. Okay, so I might leave frame now, but let's show. Ugh. Let's get to the bottom shelf. Okay, and here on the bottom, we have pre-orders for earlier this year that I still haven't gotten to. Some gifts that go into some, like, mystery horror thriller ones that I'm, like, super interested in, into some fantasies, and other mystery stuffies. So let's just go on what's on this bottom shelf, because I'm a little embarrassed by some of it. Um, I pre-ordered this book last year. Solely for the fact that it is in police interviews. And I'm kind of curious how that's written. And that is Tell Me What Really Happened by Chelsea Sedoti. And I've heard really good things about it. Um, I've started this. I have the audiobook. And I've started this, and I'm sad to say I have not read In the Lives of Puppets by T.J. Klune yet. Someone kick my ass if I have not read this by the end of this year. I need my T.J. Klune card taken away from me. I give the girls permission to yell at me if this is not read by, December, by the end of December. Um... Is this a that's where that bookmark is. Um, I still have not read Rehearse to Death. I just haven't been in the mood for a... I wanted to finish the other... What is all over my book? I wanted to finish and get caught up on my Secrets and Scrabble series. I think that might be... Um, deodorant, because this used to sit in my bag. It was in my bag for a couple of days. Next to my deodorant. Who knows? But I really enjoyed book one, so I want to read book two to see if I want to continue. Now, some, I have three here that were gifted. I'm sure I have more that have been gifted. Or from people's unhauls and things that I would like to prioritize this year. But these were the first three that popped in my head. Um, Kaylani had unhauled Gallant to me. This gorgeous, is it Alcrate? Which edition? Um, I don't know which edition. Illumicrate edition of Gallant. Now that I've read Book of Night, i am really been wanting to try another V.E. Schwab because my one of my favorite books of all time is Addie LaRue. And this is just stunning. It's been on multiple TBRs. Um, speaking of Kehlani, this is a book that she gifted me for my birthday, and that is Sim, which is book two in the 
Unexpected series. Book one started with Wit, and I really enjoyed that, and I would like to continue the series of my sexy ass men. Zizz. Um, this book was gifted to me by Dana earlier this year, and I would like to actually prioritize it, and that is The Obsession by Jesse Q. Sutanto. Want to know if Jesse Q. Sutanto is an author for me? Um, this one wasn't gifted, but when I went to the signing last year for a Jennifer Lynn Barnes, I met... Jenny Myers Sons, the author of A Dark and Shallow Lies, who is an Oklahoma based author, and I would like to prioritize an Oklahoma based author. Now that we're getting into the mystery thrillers, the only one on here that I did not select myself is The Mummy's Case by Elizabeth Peters. Elizabeth Peters is one of Sterling's favorite authors. He's been dying for me to read this series. This is book three in the series, but this is where he told me I should start. I'm only promising him book one. If that. Shh, don't tell him I said that. Um, we have We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. I would like to read and prioritize more Grady Hendrix. I would like to read all of his works. Um, one of my favorite books this year is Southern, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. And I found this in a... At Half Price Books. I'm just obsessed with that cover. Um, I really have been wanting to try a Darcy Coates. This also counts as a book that was on haul to me from Nikki, so I would like to try The Haunting of Ashburn House. I just, for some reason, feel like Darcy Coates is going to be an author for me. I don't understand why, but something about her books keep drawing me to her. Um, The last three down here is I have You by Carolyn Kapanis. I have been wanting to watch the show, but I would like to try to read the book. And I've never read a book in second person. And I'm kind of curious how creepy it gets. If I like this, I do have book two on my shelf. So I might continue on. But I didn't want to put that on here and it not serve a purpose, you know? Um, I have been told by multiple people that I would love the Agathas, so this is on here, and it's pitched as Agatha Christie meets Veronica Mars. That's all I need. And then None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. This is YA Silence of the Lambs. So those are what's on the fronts. Those back. Let's get these all back on here. And do the last bit of books back here. Okay, back here are just like a mixture of things. This is one that may stay on here, may not. It depends on if I feel like I can start another epic fantasy series after reading City of Brass, but that is Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long. This may stay, it may. I might put it back on the shelf as a, I might start this next year. It's one of those that, I don't know. I would like to try uh, The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen because I got this in a one of those mystery ones and it says YA Fantasy and it says Paul was taking too long to cut the boy's throat and it's um, 
where it gave us like the first line of the book and what genre and I was like ooh next is Unburied which is a collection of queer dark fiction stories by a bunch of indie authors where it's all horror based queer I would like to at least try it I'm not the biggest fan of short story collections unless they're like all part of like one series but we'll give that a try and I pre-ordered this and got pre-ordered giveaway stuff when this book came out when did this come out In 2021, I still haven't read it. That is Sweet and Bitter Magic. We're not going to talk about it. Um, like I said, I have Smoke Bitten by Mercy Thompson. This copy will probably get on hold when I purchase... I need to purchase Smoke Bitten and the most recent in Mass Market... Because I'm collecting that series in mass market. I don't understand why it's, I like that in mass market. But it's a series that I do. So it's just I would like to get caught up on this series before this year ends. Because I think next year I might do the spinoff series that you're supposed to be reading with. Who knows? And the last two books that I would like to try to prioritize... or. Okay, two more books that I would like to prioritize is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing and The Other People by C.J. Tudor, which was bought for me by my mom for my birthday, and it's signed. And then I have two mangas that I would like to test out. These are potential for future projects for the manga anime watch. I have Toilet Bound Hananoko Kun. It doesn't have an anime, but so many people have been talking about this. And I found it for cheap. And I got volume one, so I wanted to see what the hype is. And see if this is one that I would like to continue. And someone recommended that this be my next series that I do. It only has 38 books in the series and, like, I think six volumes of the show or something. And that is My Hero Academia. I found volume one for four ninety nine, so I was like, let's give it a try. So these are like, let's give them a try and see if these are manga series that I would like to do, read more of, and if they're ones that I would like to do for my project. So let us get these books back where they were so that I can put you back at a reasonable height. Ugh. Yeah, my head, my neck hurts. That works for now. But that's all I've got on my cart. Um, my goal is for the rest of this year just to focus on the cart. Um, this is going to be a game for me. I may not do full TBRs. I may just be like, these are the ones that I'm prioritizing. Um, and once I get them all done, I'm just going to pull from the cart. I might be like, these are the three, or these are buddy reads. Um, these are the series I'm continuing. I may be like, oh, this is the Friends Choose My TBR books. And then if I finish them and I'm in the mood for a book, I'm just going to pull from here. That is my goal is to pull from here, not my shelves, and not go buy a new book. The only things that would change that... Sorry, it cut me off. Let's hope we get into this. But yes, that's all I've got. It's the cart you see out saw any in this that you would like me to prioritize comment that down below and let me know which ones you would like me to prioritize if there's one on here that you're like you have to read that now let me know 
Um, if you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts. That's all I've got for y'all. Sorry that this ending is a little weird. I just want to make sure I can get it in before everything goes cray cray again. That's all I've got for you guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe. And then remember, kids, always be a fabulously yourself. As Funshine says, I'm